Hello everybody. It's August 1st. I am Michelle and I have something to share with you. <clears throat> As some of you know that have been watching the channel, I have been documenting and vlogging um, all the stuff that I've been doing in the garden. Um, I'm growing so many different things this year that I've never grown before. Um, some of you may know that I do not eat tomatoes, raw tomatoes. Um, I, it's a, I think it's a texture thing for me, but I can chop it up and I can cook it and I can eat it that way, but I can't eat a regular tomato. So I have promised to taste 17 tomatoes because I grew 17 varieties in my garden this year. I will physically taste them and record it to document it for 17 tomatoes. So thank God those haven't blushed yet and gotten ripe yet because I have a feeling they're all going to ripen at the same time and I'm going to be overloaded with tasting fresh garden tomatoes, which everybody loves. Everybody loves them. And this is why I feel like I'm doing a good thing. I'm saving them for you, but I don't eat them. I don't like them. I think it's a texture thing. And the, the truth of the matter is I had a bad experience when I was little and I'll share that in the video when I taste the tomatoes. But one thing that I've never eaten in my life on purpose was okra. <laughs> I've never eaten okra in my life. <clears throat> so I grew it. And I heard that it's yummy. Um, roasted or fried or um, raw. So what I was going to do today was taste raw okra right off the plant. Now this is a Star of David okra, Star of Okra, or Star of David okra. This one was picked probably a little too early, and this one is borderline picking too, um, too late. I'm confused. I think maybe this might be Clemson spineless. I don't know. I grew three varieties. I do know that this is not the red burgundy okra, but I grew Star David also and Clemson Spineless. This kind of looks like the ones you get in the grocery store, which is basically mostly the Clemson Spineless. So this is kind of hard. This is a little softer. So I'm going to try them. I'm going to document it. I'm going to take a bite of both of these and tell you what I think. I have my tea just in case I need to wash it down and choke it down. I don't even know what this tastes like at all. I can't smell it. There's nothing that I can smell, but I'm gonna try it right now. On August 1st at almost 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. Yes, I'm stalling. Okay, here I go. I'm gonna try it because I wanna roast them and I'm growing five of these plants in my backyard. So I hope I like it so that I can roast them or grill them with some oil and salt and enjoy them this summer. So here we go. When I bit into it, it almost had the consistency or the um, texture of a pea pod. Um, yeah, like the pea pods that you get in the garden, you pick them off the branch and you just eat the whole pod. That's what it felt like when I bit into it. And then it has these little seeds inside. And they're kind of like little baby peas inside my mouth. And so I'm trying to like catch one to bite into it and it all tastes the same. The whole thing tastes the same. Hmm. Also, I, I get like the texture of like corn on the cob because those little bitty seeds that are inside there, 
that kind of burst. Oh, focus. Um, kind of burst. And then this one is a little bit more mature. So I'm going to see what the texture of this one is because I don't know. I've never grown it and I've never eaten it, especially this big. So I really like the texture of this size pod. Um, so I'm going to try to do my best to keep that in mind. But here we go. I'm trying this one out. Same thing. Focus. Mm. That's really good. Man. I love vegetables. I'm that girl that when I make a steak, I'll have like three sides that are vegetables. I'll make a steak and mushroom and onions to go on top of it. And then I'll have like grilled sweet potatoes with lemon juice and cilantro on them. And also some steamed cauliflower that I mash into a mash. I love vegetables. And now I'm really kind of upset that my first experience with okra is out of the garden and it it's prolific they grow a lot like i i'm gonna have a lot of okra i know this for sure but when there's no more okra in the winter what am i gonna do i don't know what i'm gonna do about that yeah these little seeds like i just popped one out of this out of this pod i just pulled one out and when you bite it, it's like biting into a, a kernel of corn. That's kind of what it tastes like. So, go grow yourself some okra. This is pretty tasty. I can only imagine what it's going to taste like with some yummy oil on it and some salt. And... Mm. Well, I'm happy about that. Now I'm going to be disappointed, I'm sure, when I go to the store and I pick up some okra at the grocery store and try to eat that. I bet you it's not even going to taste anywhere near something like this. So that's what I meant by I'm being disappointed, that my first experience is this in the summer out of my own garden, and then in the winter I'm going to have to get it at the grocery store. So I just wanted to share that with you today um, because this was a first for me to eat okra, and it was very tasty. I'm very excited that I got to try that and share it with you because I don't know if you've ever had okra. Now, okra is a pain in the butt to start and to grow. Um, I think I made a video about that, so check out my other videos because the seeds are so delicate and you got to soak them and you can put it in the water and hope they don't wash away. So I didn't seed start them. I direct sowed them, all of my plants I direct sowed, and I got probably 20 okra plants going in a couple different gardens. So just wanted to share that with you today. I hope you have an incredible day. I hope you try some okra. Let me know your experiences with okra and how you cook it. Like how do you prepare it to eat it? Because I need to new, have new recipes because I've just tasted it and it's pretty tasty. So thanks for watching. I appreciate you following and subscribing and liking and commenting. Um, and I hope that what I'm able to share with you teaches you or inspires you and encourages you to send me a message um, so that I know um, about your experiences with okra or anything else. Have an amazing day. I wish you the very best in your gardening adventures and we'll chat soon in the next video. <laughs>